I'm Gemma Kearney and this is my makeup bag. There's uh, a lot of glitter in it. <laughs> so I usually get quite an early train into town and I don't really spend very much time doing my makeup at all. I I've got quite into lush cleansers recently which are really cave woman-esque and you sort of dig your hand in a pot and there's lots of fresh natural ingredients in there. You scrub your face and then I'll just grab this and maybe do a little bit of makeup on the train. So like blusher is always quite important to me. I've got this double double palette pot that I chose the colours of, kind of peachy bronzes. One's a powder blush, one's a cream blush. Um, so I'll definitely sort of stab those on when I'm on the train. I do really like coloured mascara as well. So this is not a particularly expensive brand. I don't even know what it is, NYX, but it's the only brand I could find uh, in my local uh, sort of chemist where I could get some purple mascara. It's really fun. Uh, I like a good hand cream. This is quite a posh one from uh, Haeckel's um, and it's kind of seaweed and geranium. It smells really good, so I use that. Pat McGrath is a really famous makeup artist based in the States and I love following her on Instagram and she very recently brought out a special kind of lip I don't even know, it's not really lipstick, it's kind of a lip glitter pack where you can have glittery lips and I managed to get on the waiting list to buy some. So this is sort of two parts of what are four parts to create a full glitter golden lip for a night out. Last time I wore that was a night out at an award ceremony in Berlin, but I wouldn't wear that in the day. Um, as a makeup tip, I would say that the wand is a really good thing to have regardless of your skin colour. It's an illuminator and it just sort of jazzes up a kind of tired looking face. You don't really need much else. So I do love my Smashbox felt tip illuminator. But as far as tips go, I think again, don't hold back. Uh, use makeup as your kind of war paint. So have fun with it rather than use it as covering up your flaws. I think that's, it's better to be positive about it. So my best budget beauty buy would be the eyeshadows in Topshop, they have so many colours, they're not expensive to buy, they kind of actually do keep their packaging because sometimes makeup just kind of explodes and they're easy just to pop in and go and then you know if you need to just jazz up your look for a night out or you're going for drinks in the evening, you just can put it, a lot of them are quite iridescent so you can just put them over what you've already got as eye makeup and then, then you like a disco ball, which is great. I think beauty for me means experimentation, again fun. Have fun with it.